Easy. Whoa. Hey there, friend. Come. Stop on by for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge. Kindness. Beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you.
Not bad, boy. You're about to get shot to peace. This, you know that? You're not so tough now, are you? It's okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You ain't joining in? Uh, I think I'll leave the celebration to the end. Hey, 
Hey, listen. Uh, I just stop. wanted to say, <laughs> I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Uh, <coughs> but <coughs> I'm back home now. Ow. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Dead Eye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun! Have lots of fun! <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Oh, Welcome back, Sean. Uh -oh, here comes I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. Mind if I join you fine folks? <laughs> they always are when you ain't buying. If I may say so. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid old. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, what the? Listen, my friend. Did you know the Louisville Mall? I'm so glad I enjoyed the party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall. Did you miss him? You know, I think I actually did. Ha <laughs> ha, me too. Was it a long ride back with him? You have no idea. I can imagine. I even missed you. You old bastard. And I missed a good excuse to celebrate. I don't think we're going to see you again. All right. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Look at me, with the bell of the ball. Stop it, you. <laughs> the delusions of youth. <laughs>
Suddenly you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Hi, Susan. All right there. Well, have a seat and bend an elbow Hi. with us. singing and softly murmuring flows the stream the bird runs free its wild way winging and i roll so you drink a pound back morn's first beat with the vengeance it seems oh, I, 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 I forgot it out loud i wipe my bird i wander over oh with a light light heart i roll along oh with the light light heart i roll along the good earth loves a wild free rover, for a roving bird is never dumb. No. He sings to please the dear old mother, and she I rewards him with a crumb. Oh, oh I'm, I'm a wild free rover, I sing a merry song. Arston. Hi. Hello. Mr. Morgan. Cheer up! It's a party! Can't you at least get me something to eat? Feel free to sing along. You all right? Yeah, it's good to have him back. Well, let's see if we're still saying that in a day or two. How are you doing, Mrs. Adler? Uh, not really in the party mood. I understand. strung us yet. <laughs> no. Maybe they never will. They won't. I'm gonna get us out of this one. <laughs> we have been stuck before. That's what you call the ring dang do. She went off to be a whore. Hung this sign upon her door. A dollar each, three for two. <laughs> Crack it, <laughs> ring dang do. And a ring dang do. Now what is that? Salty around like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and split it in two. And that's, that's what they call, they call ring dang do. <laughs> You're a dirty man. Mm -hmm. uh, yes.
Sean. Party Morgan. How are you doing? Good. You know me? Glad to hear it. All right. Hello, gentlemen. You play well. Have a seat, Arthur. Wasn't much of a party for your return, Marston. So let's celebrate now. Ha! Already stealing Sean's moment. Well, I've got some more drinking to do. All right, all right. You in this for the long haul? Always to the bitter end, me, Morgan. I thought as much. John. Hello. You doing all right? Feeling just fine. I like blue water. Mm -hmm. Black water? You can keep that. <laughs> blue water. Fire water. Salt water. Black water's for fools. Yep. It's just unnatural. All this land. Ain't natural at all. Okay, I'll try, Arthur. You ain't joining in? There is little joy left in drinking for me. Okay, then. Well, uh, can't think of anything else to say. Yep, and all right. Thank you. 
think Sean's spent, isn't it? <laughs> Hasn't seen any action like this since nine months before young Jackie popped out. Sean! <laughs> hey, move over, will you? What, what are you doing? I'm trying to get these off. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, we got him. You did very well. All of you. And now we're stuck with him. You're his favorite. Favorite? You can't stop that. Sure. Don't ever do that again. Who? I don't know. Yes, that's Stop. it. Oh. Pulling that face. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh Miss Jones. Will you oh. shut up? Oh. 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 Are you close? Nowhere near. Oh. 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 We're done, ain't we? Well, <laughs> you certainly are, darling. Oh. What are you doing there, yo creep? <laughs> Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yeah, I will. Now this, I can work with. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Good job, Mr. Hello, Morgan. Arthur. Well, you girls Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right material. always working. What did you say to me? Well, I, Just remember, I didn't my items are one of I a kind, Mr. That. Morgan. I oh, heard what, you crazy fool? I heard everything you said. I was sleeping, you lunatic. Don't make me angry. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. Huh. Appreciate it, Pearson. At some other moon? Like, like this one? <laughs> <laughs> You. Whatever you say.
put in a good word, would you? Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak! About your gang! <laughs> <laughs> I can't! <laughs> boy! Whoa! Hold your horses there! It seems the, uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, huh. Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Oh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. But you sure as shit was. John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Hey, Any nonsense, you kill him. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one. Dude. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan! You got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. I hey. If I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, Hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, old Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies. When you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round.
Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. Okay, now now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you. Every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Now come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you lose the balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey. There, there, you see? Okay, get down. The cabin's in the cleaner down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellers armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell them yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Shh. Come on. What are we doing about the pit? Sir Morgan. One by the tree. Let's get closer. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. Take him quiet, Marston. Okay. Get 
your hands dirty for a change. Jesus. What's the call? Wait on my mark. I'm gonna take a look at these boys. Sure thing.
I didn't know there'd be so many here. I told you he'll be in the cabin. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Get lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are. At least you got something tucked away. Thank you. 
Please help me out of here. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. Yep. Nice folks around here.
Easy, easy.
I talk to you a minute? This is not again, well. Abigail. Not ever. Just Thank leave me Lord. alone, will you? You're pathetic. If you're struggling for space you're in your satchel, just bring me the right Morgan. materials and I'll work something up for you. Don't I know it? I reckon I'm gonna think about it. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mound up, then. Let's go. Okay, boy. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as... Bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. There over there. Are. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Boy, where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. like why would someone do that i don't know but i see tracks heading in this direction i say we follow him all right lead the way could it have been an animal no they've been shot I don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. 
Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you... So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Alright, boy. Anything? I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be that. Come on, wait up. Shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Hey, calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <gasps> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please, don't kill me. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, boy. Let's go.
Okay, boy. Yeah.
Need a hand with your horse? Sounds good. Let's go, boy. Yeah. Slow it up.
Arthur. All right. Hey there. Hi there, Arthur. Good job, Arthur. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Arthur! What you want? <laughs> Sour, son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you.
good, Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we left Sean hanging from that there tree. There she is. Hi, Arthur. All right, well, I should be getting on. Thanks, Arthur. What are you doing? See, I don't just drink this stuff. I also use it. And those blow up okay? Sure. If you get the rag in right, get it all properly soaked. <laughs> yeah, get us a bottle of whiskey. I'll make you a few. Maybe. Yes. Compared to you drinking, a little explosion is nothing. <sighs> Shut up. Here's some whiskey, if you can make me some of those fire bottles. Of course. Anything for you, English. Shouldn't take me too long. I'll leave them by your tent. Hey, Sean. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. 
Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Yeah, good boy. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for him. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike a new, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get them? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. It was drink that started all this. You won't stop. We'll just have a couple. Settle you down. Then head back. Okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. Here we are. Just one or two, right off them? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullard! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Will you shut the hell up? Get the hell off me! Get out of here! Don't come back. Hey, one last drink. Yeah, just one more. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> That's a great pardon. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Fella I was with. Don't ask me. Hey, you 
see my friend anywhere? What the hell? You know which way my friend went? You know where it went? I've no idea. What are you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> 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 your mouth, mister.
not again. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. And you'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rambottom, at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies.
at the tab now, have we? Well, I must get on. Thank you. Really. Fine morning today. Hello, boy. What's it to be? Hey, mister. Morning. Hey, I thought we was all about hospitality in the South. Morning, friend. I don't Seems believe this. Seems to be greys turned up. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. Thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, 
They somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here because the whole heap of trouble. <laughs> yeah, reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies oh, during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Get a move on, will ya? Hey, y'all. Uh, Hello, sir. Hi, mister. trouble no 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 please don't go please don't go why are you dressed up like that <laughs> i've seen some sick perversions in my time this one might take the prize no no no, no wait <laughs> you've got to help me it's that crazy gunsmith he made me dress up like this he got me chained to the goddamn bird You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. Show me something I haven't seen before. Hey, hey. I wanna see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. They got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. You, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh, thank God. Do the chain. Y'all only do it for chain. us. Oh, good. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy man. Don't to be in shoot it. me, please. He thinks I'm his kid's Just son. Just leave us Kidnapped me. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sorry. sorry. Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil? Shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that river bank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs>
ain't moving. What are you? Sweet. <laughs> Out of here, y'all. Leave this to the law. Slow up there. We gotta talk. Hold up. You're that piece of okay, shit we're I looking get... for. All right. I'm taking you in. So, you're back. All right, what do you want? That gun seems to be well taken care of. That could really shine with some carbon in it. Oh, mister. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Hope we make a good impression. Hey there, partner. What can I get for partner. you? Y'all in here join? While we out there hey, fighting? Now. Settle down, fellas. Loonies. Sunday okay. Southerner, you're in my spot. <laughs> now get! Really? Really? Ah. 
Why can't you write us leaving at the door? Please, fellas! Let's see if we can't clobber some sense in Do you. this! You, mister, excuse me. I'd shell out for some fresh clothes if I were you. Seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. is really worrying me. Gavin! <laughs> this is just... This is just too bad. Why are you doing? No what?
Hey, friend.
know why you're. Get away! I ain't. 